today. This is going to be transformed into a hippy trippy teenage den today. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna just finish off, oh, I'll turn you around actually. So I'm gonna finish off um, finding somewhere for all this stuff and um, clean all the floor. And then we've got all these bits and pieces. We're taking that back because we picked it up and put it on a pile and bought it. Look, Ikea, 200 bloody quid. We thought it was 45. So we've got all this stuff, we've got lamps, we've got covers, get rid of those mattresses, get rid of all this card. So this is what it looks like from here. Um, that's all the painting Kiki's been doing on it. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, yeah. It's gonna be lovely. Yes, yeah, so we picked up this rug. We put up a pile of stuff in Ikea and it said 45 pounds on the box anyway when we got to the end and we paid and mark's like what and i was like i don't know it's 500 quid or something and um he said oh my god i said oh jesus Christ, no matter what you buy in ikea because we bought loads and loads of stuff anyway we got home and realized this was 200 pounds not 45 so um i'm taking it back on monday um yeah Swap it for something for 45 quid. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh. oh, do you remember? Th Where's this from? My Pokemon hat. Baby, it's your Pokemon hat. Yeah. I found um. I bought it for the girls, but it was a bit too yellow. Oh, I'm finding so many things. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh. Finally. God. The proper fly murderer. I can start slapping you on the eye on Fridays. Mark! So many random things. This is just an area where... Oh, look! Oh. It's the chicken hat. It's the turkey gobble gobble. The gobble gobble. Flasks, we need flasks. I'm always looking on, for flasks. Stay there, stay there. This is not, this is an interesting look. Uh. Nads, Nads, I, I put up a, an old Ikea table in there. I cleared everything out. I've made it look gorgeous. What the hell is going on in here now? Look at the mess. Well, because what's, what's all this? Yes, that's, all the, that's all the new stuff from Ikea. That's all going to be put laid out. What do you mean laid out? Well, it's the covers, it's the pillows. And there seems the... to be more in here than there ever was. Oh, no. well, that's what it's like, isn't it? Oh, I love this. There's what another cord on blue. What's that? Oh, for? that's for clearing out piles. Mm, piles of what? In your bottom. Oh, Mark. Oh, look, we've got a lid for that. Twister! Quite ornate. Um, Here's Dan. Let's do the top walk again. Hey, babe, 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 babe. You are simply taking everything off there, putting it on the table in here, which is going to. This kitchen was complete. I looked at this kitchen this morning when I got up and I thought, it's clear. We've got a clear. Hang on, you're just ignoring me. It is big. Do not try. Yeah. Do not transfer no, everything because, from because, there. Look. Because I'm going to put it all away. You're not. You're going to get bored at some That's point. That's what I'm doing next. Oh, what's this? Baby, you're finding everything a reason to what's keep this? everything. Can we get rid of all these jars? Glucose control. Oh my God. Oh, this is a diabetic kit. Oh, I've been looking for them. Diabetes kit. If there's one thing worse okay. than your cupboards being as messy as they are and your nooks and crannies being as mucky as oh, they are, no, it's no, you no. trying it's her trying to Been clean her nooks and crannies. Her trying to clean no, things, no. her trying to sort things no, leads to this. No. Look, this table was clear ten minutes ago. Where are you gonna put it all? I don't know. You don't know and then it's just gonna sit here. No, because I've got to find a place because the kids don't want it in their room, which is understandable. Look. What's this? It's bullseye. 
It's bullseye. If you keep oh the boxes, these could be the antiques of tomorrow. Do you remember that that proposal we had with that guy we were trying to predict the antiques of tomorrow? And I've got one of them, but unfortunately this, one of them got destroyed by the girls. So I'm gonna keep the box in case you never know on the Antiques Roadshow one day, it might be worth something. What headspace was I in when I bought one of these? Microfiber mop ball. Look at this, you've got all different colors. And apparently it dusts the floor. You're joking. I mean- oh, Babe, that's a- Oh my God, shut up. Mark, don't keep that in, that's all right. <laughs> Mark. Mark. Different, Look, they've got different, all different colours. colours. Different nights of the weekend. Where was I? Where was I in my head when I bought this? <laughs> where I you was are... around the room cleaning. You have to kick it. That is not I mean, real. That's the most rubbish thing that anyone ever could have bought in their whole life. Well, if if I mean, it's if it's, if it's, if it's there to like if it's there to be bought, Nadia Sawala will buy it. I could have swept the whole place by now. Or maybe it's for the dogs to chase. Ah, it's for the dogs to chase. Is it? What is that? Babe, don't just leave it there. Well, it's going to see if the dog likes it. Babe! Oh, flipping it. Oh, this breaks my heart. My mum would keep these all across the fortune when she was horse riding. Oh, don't. And then she gave up horse riding. Brand new leather riding gloves. What do you want to do with them? Sorry? I'm more confused than when Why have you started this now? Because Kiki wants to get all the room done. You know what she's This is all going to be in the fucking kitchen. Well, no, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just going to throw it These jars have been in here for weeks. Maybe I'm just going to throw it away. Well, just chuck them, babe. Give it to the charity shop. It's not true, you don't ever. It's true. We never use the glass jars we've got. Oh, oh this... blood pressure. Let's do our blood pressure. Oh, God, we used to do more Mark, naughty things than that at the weekend. I'm going to do my blood pressure. Don't do your blood pressure. No, it's good. No, don't do your blood pressure. Don't oh ever... my God, I'm scared. Why? Well, don't do it. No, because I want to know. Why do you want to suddenly know? Because I think you'll be a good idea. Ah. Nads, do you see how you've just... You won't know what the numbers mean. Battery's gone off. Oh. Battery's just gone flat. Got no battery. That's all right. Thank God for that. <laughs> this is good to have. I think we all need to check our blood pressure. Monopoly. <laughs> Woody, Woody box. Babe. Oh, flipping heck. We're getting into the deep sorting now. We're getting into the bits that we've always left. Well, I've just found some negatives. Let's see if I can see what these are of. Remember the good old fashioned negative? Oh, what I can see me, Maddie, and you. Where? You and Maddie. Oh, these are from New Zealand, oh, Australia. Oh. Oh, there's Pat. Oh. Oh, look. Just... They don't even match. I know, but they're your gloves. How can that be my glove? That's a that's an hobbit glove. Well, where's the other glove then? I don't know. Oh look, there's your lovely uh, La, La Russe cookbook. Yeah, I'm just getting all the cookbooks. So that's all cookbooks, I think, up there. Why is that lamp bulb in that box? We must have not had a box. Pardon? We must have not had a box for it, so I'll put it in there. We don't need either of them. So five minutes ago, this was a clean, empty kitchen, and I'm now just gonna show you the table that Nettie's just thrust at my calm, tranquil situation. So I love bottles like this. I might put the washing up liquid in it. No, babe, that's ridiculous. Absolutely yes, ridiculous. She lives on the cleanest planet in the world. No one lives in that world. I 
hopes covered. Let's go and see how she's doing. Look what we just found. One of her presenter cards. Look at that. Oh, I know. That was a hangover from You Call the Shots when they used to have these really cool things and she'd read from them. And that show that yeah. you made. Guys, I don't know if you can find it on YouTube. This was on our channel. So, oh, it's on the it was channel. three or four of uh, the episodes. Kiki, Kiki was only three months It was old. a tough show. Really it was bad. a tough show to make. Oh my God, look. Uh -huh. Hey. We've already started putting our art stuff in. Yeah, well, you know there's a whole load of other jars there. This was, uh, no, I, I'm keeping those there because they're not in their way. I'll put them back there. See, so all I need to do is get a bit of two before and a bit of plywood, nail it at the back there so it completely seals it off and then we put a new cupboard there. What do new you think? New cupboard? I think they'll want this cupboard. They'll just say, oh, it's too extra. Well, why don't you take that door off and keep it an open cupboard? <laughs> that way you haven't got that front. Yeah. Because that's what makes it look, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, make it look holistic. Yeah. Look at that. Well done, that. I mean, obviously there's that, but, you know. <laughs> it's all the other stuff I've got to get into. Yes. <laughs> and look, there's our newly found... It's always been a bit of a depressing newly corner. Newly found table. Look there. That's good. Yeah. You have plants. There could be... Some plants could go down here as well, because they, they'll they'll reach up to that light, Nad. So look, yeah. house plants will reach yeah, up to that light. Um, let me just show you this. This is so cool. It's such a brilliant view. coffee moaning and then I'll just turn around to turn the telly off bedlam total bedlam I've just seen all your cookery books yeah, yeah. so to be fair now she's gone up this like a Trojan this is part of her art stuff so the kind of thing she'll end up wanting when she's at school. Put it in the loft. That's a great idea. That's what lofts are for. Look, art stuff. Art stuff. It's just art stuff. That hasn't been clear for years. She's an artist. See, I think. Whilst that's good, I genuinely think if we could get a better one, there'd be a more useful one, ergodynamic, rather than just having two shelves. You could have one where you could put drawers, stuff in it, things like that. Well, I think see. it's really worth looking for an art cupboard that fits that space. Okay. Honestly. So what the girls are wanting in here is a combination of movie madness on the ceiling, coupled with hippie. Actually, not too dissimilar to the flat that me and my mum grew up in. Cheese yeah, plants, or your bedroom, cheese plants, um, drapes, incense probably, stuff like that. It creates such a psychedelic kind of silhouette and shadow. A little piano for them to sort of sit there and pretend they're Jimi Hendrix, though he had a guitar, but you could have, you know, mate with a guitar next to them. One of those embarrassing situations that makes my right armpit go nuts. But then hidden away at one end of the room, of course, is Heck heaven, which is where popcorn junkies can carry on watching their movies. So I'm just now going to move our mattresses for the final time. <laughs> well, it's, a it's a big moment. It's a big moment, this. I have to say, it's very exciting in the house at the moment. Uh, very exciting in the house at the moment. I'm just turning off Radio 4 because we're getting that room sorted and it's looking damn hot. So I'm about to go and put some flashy lights up in Maddie's room too. But look, Kiki, I'm going to put your mattress on your bed later and we can get rid of that mattress too. So then we won't... What? What? I'm looking, I'm not filming you, don't worry. I am looking forward to taking this room off the girls and I'm looking forward to doing things there and I'm looking forward to doing things over there and I'm looking forward to doing things everywhere that the girls are not there. Aren't we Toffee? Toffee's thinking, Toffee's looking at me and she's going, where she's, gonna shake. she's saying to me with her eyes, wait till you go to bed and take a huge dump in the middle of that red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you Toff? <laughs> Toffee's happy that Chi Chi's injured. 
dogs are weird. It's a doggy dog world. <laughs> it's still a total tip here. Toffee is guarding her esophagus. Now here is a tip. Mark's Joe Wixing. Um, yeah, everywhere is a tip. But ready, steady. Da 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 da. Kiki has done an amazing mural and we have made the start at having a Pinterest, a Pinterest room. <laughs> Actually, it makes me really happy. All this started because the other day the girls said, Mum, it's never really cosy to sit here. It felt awful. Oh my God, they're going to grow up and they say we never had anywhere cosy. I know what they mean because this is a bit like big and hangary, isn't it? And so now they've got a cosy room. And if I try it, like I said, should I get a new cupboard here? That's extra, Mum. We don't want anything new. Well, we've got the throws new. We just want all the old stuff. So actually here, these are plants I just brought in from the garden. They look great, don't they? They look so great. These are brilliant little things. You get loads of them on Amazon, really cheap. So I'm just going to dot them all around. And then up here, we're going to have lights hanging off the ceiling. Okay. <sighs> I've got a mama, a, a happy mama heart. Pat on the back. <laughs> and now they've got a cosy room. I was really worrying about that. And that says it's not very nice, but sometimes it's just to illustrate that was hard work, Toffs. We've been working non-stop today, haven't we? Yeah. Look what I found in the loft. And we haven't had a walk. A really nice vase. Don't know what you want to... Oh, that's nice, yeah. Look at that, yeah. Dark vase. That might be useful for the mm. hippie room. So I've just put loads of stuff in the loft. Good job. And it's such a sense of satisfaction. And I think it'll be quite easy, Nad, to clear all the clutter that would then mean we have the equivalent of this space again to put stuff in. Most it's of it, lost. most of it is cardboard. Oh, most of it is cardboard and I think we should do it as a whole vlog. Me going up there, you coming up there, because there's lots of old things up there. Old scripts, old things to your dad. Okay. All sorts of bits. Okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna keel over with the coffee for a minute. <laughs> Loving nose. Tell me some secrets. I'll tell you some lies. Do you remember that picture no. Adam, and I think it was? No. I love on the rocks. Big surprise. Tell me some secrets. I taste some lies. They're blocking you out. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm Why are you doing mind. that now? Yeah. Because I will not have a coffee! It's not just him that wants coffee. She's got a bad leg. She's stiff. No, no, no. She's holding up her leg properly and hopping. That's not your one. That's Toffee. Look, come here. Come here. Oh, look. Why is it all wet there? She's been licking it. What's the matter, Chi Chi? How's our wounded soldier do? Oh, sweetie. I've given her a pillow. I'm going to put this on her because I think she needs support for it. It's very I much the that... lower end of that foot, mm. which is kind of encouraging, which means it could be claw, pad, or a slight fracture. Oh, careful, babe. I hardly touched it, and look how she jumped. Oh, look, she's taking the pampering, though, isn't she? Oh, she's loving it. She's she wanting attention. Oh, Chi Chi. Can you hear her just like doing sniffy mm. breathing? Oh, Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Mm. I know. I know. You're okay. 
So we've got a vet appointment. She's a bit better now because she's just eaten a huge breakfast. Yes, yes, she's yes. been out to the. Oh look, she gets a bit worried as you get to nervous, pick her up. Don't you? Right. Don't you? I'm just going to put her on the sofa and then I'm going to put the bed in the car so she can lie in the bed. Sorry, oh sorry, darling. Sorry, baby. Oh. Oh, Cheech. She's a bit better than she was yesterday, though. Definitely. So what happened yesterday is, you know, lots of times with dogs, you know, they get a bit of an ache and then they're fine. And so she was kind of all right all day. But then come the night, she got, she just went downhill a bit. But then again this morning, she's a bit better. But anyway, I'm sure the vet is going to say she's just twisted it or something. But best to get her checked out. Eh? Hey? You know they might give you an injection. GG. You might, and you might have to have a thermometer up your bum bum. You might. I told you she might have to put a thermometer up her bum. Toffee didn't blanch. Toffee looked like she enjoyed it. <laughs> Toffee. Mm. She puckered oh. up for a second. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Gigi, what was that? That was on your chest. On her chest? Yeah. Toffee, 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 Toffee. Go and get him. That's right, I don't know how to... I think... Yeah, the way you had it before was better. Oh, 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 oh. So we're a little bit blessed. One of the few perks of being near Streatham is that the Streatham Emergency South London Veterinary Service is on Streatham High Road. And there she is. Bless her. And she just can't relax on her, on her paw. And even if I try and lift her up, it really hurts her. So we're just going to walk around the corner. It's a drop-in centre and see what they can do for her. Might be a bit of a... MRI or maybe an X-ray or something like that, poor thing. Hey, Chi Chi. Chi Chi, do right, baby. Oh, this is the vets. Oh, sweetie. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to have to be really honest with you. I'm suffering with a terrible migraine. You've probably been told by Nads that she's trying to get convince me to postpone the Sunday show. I don't want to, but I have got a terrible migraine. But anyway, I've just come out of the vets. That was really distressing. So of course, masked up, COVID up, all that kind of stuff. So they take Chi Chi off into a room. I'm not allowed to go in with her. All I heard was the sounds of a hellhound. It sounded like she was being hung, drawn and quartered, tortured, savaged. I mean, I know that she's a huge coward, there she is just down there. I know she's a huge coward and that, you know, if the big a big dog just approaches her or the shadow of a big dog falls on her in the park, she yelps like blue murder. Um, so anyway, so there was a lot of that going on. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? But I thought well, it could be just that, you know, the vet's just kind of washing his hands and she thinks it's something awful's going to happen. And then he came out and he said, she's got something wrong with her foot. So it's not elbow dysplasia, which we thought it would, might be. Uh, he can't work out if it's um, a broken toe, an infection in one or two of the toes and between the toes, and or, and this is the one that I'm not going to tell the guys, and by the time they potentially see this vlog, we'll know anyway, either way, because she's got to go for an x-ray tomorrow at the, the normal vets. Um, he said it could be bone cancer. I said, you're joking. He said, well, he said it's very unusual in young dogs. Why say it? But he said when it does develop in dogs feet or legs it's sudden it just starts with pain oh my god i mean of course can you imagine that my god 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 only knows what the potential ramifications of that are i don't know whether that then would mean amputation or what but anyway i'm choosing to go with the two other likely possibilities so we're going to try and book her in well we've got to phone our local vet and book her in for a, an x-ray as soon as possible he's given us some um, antibiotics, he gave her an injection. He said that will sustain her for the next 24, 48 hours. Um, poor old Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Oh, sweetie. Was that really traumatic? 
Was that traumatic, eh? You were yelping away. Oh, and by the way, I think the shock to her system was so extreme, a poo just flew out of her bum as we left the vets. I mean, literally r r rolled, ricocheted off the wall into the street. And then as we passed Nando's, our local Nando's, she just had to do a shit of shock. It must have been the shock. So thank God I had some big pee bags there. That was so embarrassing having to wipe it up outside Nando's. But anyway. taking Chi Chi, who's a little bit more mobile, but that could just be the antibiotics or painkiller, taking her for an x-ray. You know and I know what we're worried about. She think, I think she knows. She whined so much in the vets yesterday. She knows what's coming. You ready, Chi Chi? She's still limping. I'm worried about this. How are you feeling, Chi Chi? She's so still when she looks. We'd be absolutely devastated if anything happens to her. I mean, we'd be devastated if anything happened to either of them. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm just, I'm sitting with her now. And she's so blithely oblivious, isn't she? For her, she's just got an annoying foot that she'd rather walk through. She's not thinking about what it could be, the bigger issues. Anyway, so you're not allowed into any veterinary surgeries, well, none around us, uh, until it's actually your appointment. They're letting people in one at a time. I know she's going to pull on that lead when we get over there. All right, Chi Chi. Chi Chi, Chi Chi, Chi Chi, Chi Chi, Chi Chi. No, it's all right, baby. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. So, update these dogs are making us live on our, our wits at the moment. So, that vet was very pleased with the way she reacted to her antibiotics and her pain relief. She says there was no need for an x-ray, which I was surprised by actually, uh, no need. So I'm gonna bring her in again later this week. She said the lameness has gone down. You can barely notice which foot it is. It could have just repaired itself. Hey, Chi Chi, high five. Well, no, don't do a high five, that still hurts. <laughs> high five. <laughs> Are you relieved? Oh, she's so sweet. I love you so, so much. Oh. <laughs> I just drank my tea, and my tea just gave me the finger. I'm gonna show you what it looked like as I opened my eyes. <laughs> it was so nice. 